Heat, humidity, and recent rain are having an impact on some local insect populations. KXAN's Rosie Newberry shows us which insects could show up in big numbers over the next several weeks. A really huge uh, population explosion. Snout butterflies are taking flight in huge numbers through south central Texas. Entomologist Mike Quinn says it's actually due to a dry stretch in San Antonio this summer, which was broken by August rain. And when the rains come, they're ready to mate and lay eggs, and then the plants put on new leaves, and then the parasites are at low ebb. Lightning bugs and crickets are going to be out in big numbers thanks to a lot of the same reasons. Now, lightning bugs may be more fun to catch, but crickets? Mm, let me find a good one here. They can be much more beneficial to us. Robert Nathan Allen is the founder of Little Herds, a local nonprofit that aims to get more people crunching on crickets as a food source. It's a, a great protein source. It's got all the essential amino acids that you need. It's got those B6 and B12 vitamins that you need from animal sources. You only want to eat crickets that have been raised as food. But seeing so many in the area over the next few weeks is a good attention getter for Little Herd's cause. That's pretty good. I think if people are looking up eating crickets in Austin, hopefully they'll find Little Herd's before they go out and try them. And then on our website, we've got a tag that says, first time eating insects, start here. In Austin, Rosie Newberry, KXAN News. I'm going to get a who knew, huh? <laughs> well, if you're interested in learning more about the insects you'll be seeing in Central Texas this fall, look for this story at KXAN.com or the KXAN News app. I think if I were a bug, I'd bug out of here. It's too hot. <laughs> well,